Hello, and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games, usually through a series of Let's Plays. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome! Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Smitty still owes $43,740 on his bank loan. So in this episode, we will get some more high-paying jobs so that he can work on getting that down. So let's dive in! Okay, so here, as you can see, from the $50,000 bank loan that we took, we owe $43,740. So we're going to look for some jobs now. Let's try this $3,150. Looking for a designer to do a total makeover of our apartment so that it fits our needs. Requirements, total makeover, budget, $14,250. We're going to go over to Dane Street. Okay, let's start with the cleaning. Okay, we have a chance to restore this television. Uncle Steve's going to work on restoring that. Clean up the puddles. Try to restore this washing machine. I have no idea what this is. Try to repair that. Oh, it looks like a bureau. He couldn't fix it, so he's going to have to trash it. Okay, that looks to be about it. Let's begin the renovation. Adian Romero wants us to... Uh, bare minimum design is what he wants. He needs a bedroom, a bathroom, a kitchen. That seems to be about it. Let's put the bathroom in the front of the house. Yeah, I think I might split the side of the room over here. Bathroom will go there. I'll do a three square bedroom over here. And let's put in some doors because the radiator is complaining. The radiator there. And I'm going to move the fuse box over here. So let's start with the bathroom. The bathroom needs stone floors and brown walls, and he wants us to focus on the floors. So the highest stone we have here is marble. We'll put marble there. All right, so we have our marble floors in the bathroom, and we need to have brown walls in there. I really don't want to put in this murky brown. Yeah, I'm going to go with the brown, wind, whatever this is, probably wallpaper. He wants us to focus on the required furnishing, so we're going to do that. I'm going to put the shower cabin back here in this corner, so it's not the first thing you see when you come into to the bathroom. Oh, looks like we have some bills to pay. We have to pay on our Boring Lane property. Oh, and it looks like Gloria Weeks hasn't paid her rent, so let's remind her politely. We need a bathroom sink. I'm going to put the sink right here. Okay, Gloria Weeks is going to get right to that. I'm just going to put the pigeon toilet right there. I should probably give them some doors. Toilet doors on both of the rooms splurge on these people because they wanted a bare minimum design. We'll put the toilet paper there and that's done for the bare basics of that room. Let's move on to the bedroom. They want copper linoleum. Let's take a look at the floors. I really don't feel like putting a linoleum in the bedroom. I'm gonna go with this pink carpet because it's the most expensive even if it's pretty hideous. It's called Vegas twist so maybe we can do some sort of Vegas theme. We want red or gray walls. I suppose I could put something super busy. I did polka dots in the child's bedroom last time. I think I'm just going to go with this. That's really horrendous. That's really horrendous. Is this even more horrendous? Oh, that's really, really bad. I'm going to go with this. I don't even know. No, that's, that's pretty bad too. I'm going to go with this red wallpaper. It's bad, but it's not so horribly, horribly bad. Okay. All right, so we need a bed. So I'm going to go with single coastal bed, and we need some sort of wall decor in here. We have curtains as wall decor. I don't see how that's Vegas, but pink curtains. All right, in the kitchen, we need tile in the kitchen. I'm going to go with this Star Valencia porcelain stoneware tile, and we need green walls. I think I'm going to go with this green wallpaper, and we need a fridge and a cooker. I'm just going to move this washing machine over here. I'm going to keep the washing machine in here just for the hell of it. Not that we really need it. Okay, I'm going to go with this green cooker. I'll put the cooker there. We'll do a green refrigerator. We don't need anything else, but if I don't put anything else in here, it's going to be pretty sad. So let's look for some counters. Well, we could even put in some appliances that are green. Now, he didn't ask for counters, but I don't want to give him the saddest counters that exist. I'll pick the night cabinet. I'll put that there. Deborah Burke, what do you want? All right, she... Deborah Bur Burke has some rats. Sending in Uncle Steve. Should be pretty quick. And then we can get back to our apartment. All right, that looks to be it. Thanks for helping me solve this problem. All right, Deborah. She's really happy. Pay our bills. 
and get back to working on Dane Street. He didn't really ask for a sink, but I want to give him some sort of sink. I chose the night counters. This is a pretty big space for a kitchen, so I might have to make it like a kitchen living room area, kitchen dining room area. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with it. I didn't want to put the cooker near the window because when I put curtains up there, because he does want wall decor, didn't want to put hangy swag curtains that possibly could get set on fire by the cooker over there. These over here. We have $3,750 left for our budget, so I might be okay to th slap down some more decor. I'm going to put this light over the sink. I did not put a light in the bathroom. I'm just going to this light in the bathroom. I stated that I wanted to put some small appliances in here. So let's get some green small appliances. We'll put the green toaster over here. I'm going to give him another counter over there. I'm gonna give him this green machine coffee thing. The coffee machine there, and I'll put the toaster over here. There we go. There's our little breakfast area. I'm going to give him some sort of couch so he can watch his television. And put in a bare basic lamp. I want him to have like a dining area. I'm gonna give him the T-bone table. Put that over here. We have a problem with the lamp. We gotta move the lamp. Put the lamp over here. Give him cushion chairs. There only seems to be him living here, so I'm going to give him two chairs. This way. Do this chair and this chair. Far away from each other. We still have $1,852. We really need to do something in this bathroom and in the bedroom because it's looking pretty sad. I'm going to give him this mirror right there. I have to give him some sort of wall decor. I'll give him the green curtains in the bathroom. Let's give him the doormat in front of the shower and a doormat there. And we need to give him some things in the bedroom because the bedroom is looking a little stark. He needs to have some sort of storage space, I think. Get this white stripe on the bedding. I'm going to give him a white cabinet for his bureau and this cabinet and table near the bed and I can give him another one of these cabinets I'm gonna put the alarm clock here put this red light right here so they have some sort of light to read with let's put ancient bird in the bedroom right over the bureau let's give him a bonsai in his bedroom we have five hundred and three dollars we should probably do something in this living room area that is really sad. The clock over here, that way you can see it from both sections of the room. Put in these wall mounted wall speakers so you can have like entertainment. All right, we are down to $54. Oh, this bedroom is so sad. Such a sad bedroom. I could do road home next to the door. Now I have $74 can I do for $74? What do I have on his bureau? I don't think I have anything interesting on his bureau. Oh, I have a, I have a bonsai on his bureau. I'll do life's a boat over here. Life, life in a boat. I know I always say life's a boat. It's life in a boat. And I have $25 left. Oh, I could put this cheap calendar somewhere. Put the cheap calendar over the washing machine. He's going to come in and fixate on that. $6. Do we have anything for $6? I don't think I do. We're at the point where we have $6 left. Let's take a look at the space. We've met all the requirements. Oh, wall decor was the only thing was needed in the, in the bedroom, and I only put one thing in there. And of course, I gave him cheap in there. All right, I'm going to deliver the job. I realize that this place looks pretty sparse. I tried to use the most expensive or close to the most expensive preferred furniture. So that is why our budget went down really fast. So let's see how we did. Okay, she's coming in and she's looking at the light and says the light is... She loves the light in the bathroom. Looking in the bedroom, looking at the curtains, and she thinks, I love these curtains. And the mirror. She loves the mirror. And going into the kitchen area, she's looking at the design in general in the kitchen, and she thinks she loves it. Let's see what our review was.
Adian Romero at Dane Street 52. I thought only my brother-in-law could do such miracles with a putty knife and a paint roller. I couldn't believe my eyes. Excellent work needs to be rewarded. So we got a $630 bonus. So we earned $3,780 on this job. The required furniture, we got five stars. Preferred furniture, five stars, no issues with that. Floors were five stars. Walls, five stars, no issue. Decor, decor could have used some more work. And the first impression was no issues. So we did really good there. Let's go to Lost Creek Road, 14C. We, this person needs an interior designer, apartment with an office for a couple, and they're gonna give us $12,000 and they'll pay us $3,600. So let's do that. Let's send in Uncle Steve to begin cleaning. It looks like he only has to repair this easel. I'm not seeing anything else to be cleaned in this room. And let's begin the renovation for Anna Schmidt. All right, so she needs a bedroom and an office. What else? A bathroom. And they prefer a gramophone. The front space couldn't be the office. So we're in the bathroom and we're gonna choose a laminate. I'm gonna pick this Montillo wood laminate and put that in the bathroom. She wants a brown wall. All right, Gloria Weeks, listen up. I got a situation here with a leaky pipe. Water is spraying out of control. Can you do something about this? I'll send in a pro. Didn't have to leave for that, that's excellent. I'm gonna pick the lighter brown. Looks like baby puke, but this is going to be the baby puke bathroom, I suppose. She needs a shower cabin. Put the shower cabin there. I'm gonna rotate it around so that the, the shower head is connected to the wall where the plumbing would be. We need a toilet and a sink. What sinks do we got? We got giant sink again. I'm gonna put that giant sink in again. I know it's sort of boring. Boring giant sink, you're very boring. There's a couple here, so having a bigger sink countertop makes more sense to me. Ooh, I put the wrong walls. <laughs> Oops. She wants red, so no more baby vomit in the bathroom. That looks so much better, oh my goodness. Glad I looked at that, that right there. We can do a red toilet roll. She'll probably come in the corner and go, why, why did you buy me the cheap thing at the dollar store? We need a mirror, diamond mirror over the, oh, that's sort of nice. It, it mimics the, the floor pattern. I like that. We got the bathroom down. Now let's do the bedroom. In the bedroom, we need hardwood floors. Let's do oak panels on the floor. It's a little busy, but... Oh, wait a minute. They're putting their kitchen in their bedroom as well. So the office looks like it's probably going to be a commercial space. And they're just going to be living in their office. Okay, I'm going to do the walls in a green. We'll do this green. It sort of matches the same sort of pattern that's in the bathroom. We'll do the furnishings. We need a double bed. Okay, I'm not going to pick the most expensive double bed simply because of the fact that I'm sure we have to buy a lot of other stuff for the office. Pick that one. Okay, let's do the fridge and the kitchen cabinet because those are going to be in the pricier area. I'm just going to get them this fridge. Put the fridge there. And we need a kitchen cabinet, the night cabinet and they want a microwave. We'll do a higher end microwave because they really don't have any other cookers in here. I'm gonna put the microwave there. They need a wall shelf there. And they need some books, life's advice books there. This $30 wall plant, there we go. And now we have to go into the office. So what do we need in the office? We need desks, desk chairs. I think I am gonna sell this. Put this one in the front like it's the receptionist. Hi, welcome to our office. I don't know where the door is. There it is. I'm gonna move this in the bedroom because they're going to be using this as an office space and we'll just pretend that when, when they designed this apartment, they had the fuse box in the bedroom. So this will be the receptionist area. I'm going to put this more expensive desk in the boss's section of the office and I'm going to put the cheaper of the more expensive desks in the reception area. So we need a desk chair. I'm going to save this one for the boss. This one for the receptionist. We need two laptops. I will put the cheaper laptop in the front of the room for the receptionist and the pricier one for the boss. Um, the desk here. Let's do the floors. The floors need a linoleum. I'm going to put in the monochrome floor and I'm going to put in some brown walls. I suppose I could put in these crazy brown walls with the, oh my goodness that's like no. <laughs> it's sort of 
Yeah, we'll give everybody a headache. Hi, welcome to Crazy Town office space. Let's go with that industrial look. Bright bricks or dark bricks? Let's go with bright bricks. Yeah, there we go. Hi, welcome to industrial office spaces. I'm gonna go with this skeletal bookcase and I'll put that over here. We need a cabinet. I'm gonna put the broad white cupboard back here behind the boss's desk. So let's put the wall clock in the front. Wall clock there. And we need a small decoration. Okay, binders. Yeah, I could do binders. I'll do a binder in here. Yeah, another binder there. We can do this fancy schmancy psychosphere. Item provided by the client. Only available for this job. Various trinkets to make your apartment more colorful and lively. I suppose I can put the globe back here on this tiny cabinet. They wanted some some sort of spiffy a gramophone. Ooh. I'm gonna put the gramophone in their personal space because I don't think they need a gramophone in their office. But we're gonna need some sort of cabinet to put the gramophone down on or table of some sort. Let us find something like that. Like right there. I don't have enough money. Hmm, what can I sell? I can sell this. Because they really want the Oh, I sold the desk. I wanted to sell that. That's sort of humorous. Okay, so I need a desk. Because I accidentally sold the desk. What are you complaining about? What are you complaining about? I seriously don't believe that. That needs to be that far away. Fine, it'll be that far away. Maybe he leaves it that far away when he's not there. Probably have to pay some bills. Let's pay our bills. Let's make sure our tenants are paying their rent. I'm very amazed. I had wanted to put a chair in the waiting room waiting room chair, and I should probably do a chair across from the boss's chair. Do a desk lamp here, and a desk lamp over here, because there is no lighting in this place, and I don't even know if there's any lighting in here. There's no lighting in here. Can't even give them a $25 thing. So, we are, we have $2 left of our budget. We've met all the requirements. I am ready to deliver this. Uh, granted, there's only the decor in the bedroom is only at 12%, and the office is only at 55%. But I'm all set to deliver this job. Let's see how it goes. Right. She, he's looking at the desk, and he thinks, "I like the desk." Uh, now let's see. He's going into the bathroom, and he's looking at the giant sink, and he says, "I love the sink." And now he's looking at the books on the shelf, and he says, I love these books. The decor in the bathroom. He loves the decor in the bathroom. He's just writing up the review. We've unlocked new items. We've unlocked some dumbbells, a uh, couch, uh, floors, and walls. All right, we're 76% to an item set box. We are level 16, Smitty. We are 7% to a random loot box. And the review was Anita Schmidt. I'm, I'm everybody's brother-in-law. I don't know how that happened. I thought only my brother-in-law could do such miracles with a putty knife and a paint roller. I couldn't believe my eyes. Excellent work needs to be rewarded. We have a $720 bonus. $4,320 for this office job. Quiet Furnitures was a four stars. Items could have been more fashionable. Classic wall shelf. Teddy armchair and coal armchair. So those armchairs that we threw in just to make the space look like an office only got us four stars. It probably took our stars down. Preferred Furniture furniture, no issues, floors, no issues, five stars on both, walls were five stars with no issues, the decor, the, the rooms have very poor decor, the bedroom, which only had 12% decor, so I understand that. Rooms have poor decor, office, well, we tried to put in as much office decor as we could, but there wasn't a lot to choose from. First impression, five stars, no problem. Okay, I'm going to take a look at our bank, how much we owe the bank still, if we can pay the bank anything. We are at $24,500. I really wanted to be able to just pay this loan off outright, but we can't do that. I'm willing to take one more job to see if we can bump that number up. Let's take the $4,000 job, see if we can bang that out. It's a professional job. St. Lucia Street, 1431. General overhaul needed, fitness sports style, hefty budget of $14,300. Finishing guideline, focus on the first impression, required furniture, and they don't mind the decor. Let's accept that and hope that this brings us closer to paying off that bank loan. Let's go over to St. Lucia Street. Let's send Uncle Steve in to start cleaning. 
Oh, it looks like we got a pinball machine. And if that's the case, that's going into our player storage. Let's try to res restore that pinball machine, Uncle Steve. I don't know what apartment we'd put that in, but that looks really nice. That looks to be about all that we can clean. So I wonder what this is supposed to be. Is this supposed to be a gym? Common area needs a treadmill, workout benches, or dumbbells. Okay, what does she want? Deborah Buck is asking, I wonder if you could upgrade my internet or TV subscription. Sure, why not? Thanks, now it's working much better. Okay, so we're going to focus on the bathroom first. We need tile floors. Let's just do the gray gym type floors. We need red walls. This red wall, dark red. I'm going to give them this $499 shower cabin because the shower nozzles in the center and not off to the side like this one is and that would just this $599 one is just harder to position. I'm going to put that there. I'm just going to give them this basic sink. They, they, they were preening about their budget, so I should probably go with a better, better toilet. We'll give them a red toilet brush to match the red walls. All right, so that's pretty much the bathroom. We should probably give them a light. I'll give them this $50 lamp. In the bedroom, we need hardwood floors. I'm going to give them these ash planks in the bedroom, and they want gray walls, so this is just going to be a gray room. I will give them these checkered crazy walls. That's not very sleep worthy, but they got the gray that they wanted. Let's get them their double bed that they want. I'm gonna give them the wine double bed. Put that double bed right there. And we need a motivational poster and a big plant. So let's get a big plant, big plant, and a motivational poster. They have nice end motivational posters because whenever I give them motivational posters, they just are like... How about work hard? Get out of the bedroom and work hard. Kitchen area requires a hardwood floors. I'm going to do the same panels that were in the bedroom. This used to be a factory before they purchased it and put up walls to make it a gym. So these ash floors were laid out throughout the whole factory floor section. We need blue walls. We'll do these blue walls. Let's put this here. We need a kitchen sink. We need a fridge. So we need a blender. So a blender there. And I'll give them another counter. Motivational poster in the kitchen. Work hard. Play hard. In the kitchen. I'm going to move this because this really shouldn't be in there. We will put the dance pole. Oh, that's just peachy. I'll put the dance pole. You don't see that the minute you walk in the door. We need a treadmill. Put a treadmill there. I suppose I should put some ch chairs over here for people to watch the dancer. Nah, they're there to work out. They're not there to, to perform a show. This isn't like a nightclub. Let's give them the medium range dumbbells. Dumbbells over here. So I got some mirrors for the person on the dance pole. We'll do a workout bench here in the gym section. We'll put a clock there so people can see what time it is. We'll put some lights over the poster. There's some lights there. Put some lights over here. <laughs> I don't want to put them over that because then the poor person working out will have lights right in their eyes. But All right, so in the common area back here, we still have $1,636. I should make some sort of tabley area where they can hang out and drink their smoothies. I suppose I'll just put the sand chair in here. Dude, it's your time to shine. Give them a light in here. There's your little cupboard for your clothes. And then you're gonna complain that you don't have enough stuff. So we'll put another plant in here. We have three hundred nineteen dollars left. We'll put a wall plant in the foodie area right there. Put an alarm clock in the bedroom so they have some sense of time. I'll put the vase of Narcissus over in their bedroom so they have some sort of decor in there. Did I put you are breathtaking? You are breathtaking. Alright, so I'm pretty much ready to deliver this gym job after I pay my bills. Let's see how we did. We have 90% decor in the kitchen, 73 in the bathroom. Uh, the bedroom is at 100%. I suppose I could slap something down before we deliver the job. Do we have any like rugs or anything that I can do for f for cheap? Put a face on the floor. Okay, what do you want? Deborah Buck is having a problem. 
You there? There's something going on with my fuse box. Could you take care of it? I'll send in a pro. Alright, I'm ready for us to deliver this gym job. And she's looking around the place and she's looking at the chest of drawers that sh she didn't ask for, but she's miserable with that. She loves that blender. She's looking at the mirrors from the other side of the wall with her x-ray vision. And she's loving those mirrors. And she's looking at the general design of the gym space and she likes it. And our review for it is, Smitty wasn't exceptional, but I have nothing to complain about. It's worth every penny to see your flat rearranged in such a masterful way. Required furnishings were four stars. Could have been more fashionable with the treadmill. Granted, I gave her a workout bench, a treadmill, and a dance pole as well as dumbbells but no preferred furnishing items not found was the easel didn't put the easel in so that affected our star rating floors no issues five stars walls no issues five stars decor could have used some more work in the bedroom but we got five stars and our first impression was four stars so we got four thousand dollars for that job let's see how much we are at $31,000.17. While we don't have the $43,740, I think we're closer to being able to pay off our bank loan. I think we'll probably be able to do that in our next episode. So I'm going to stop it here. Thank you so much for stopping by our Crooked House. If you liked what you saw, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow Smitty on his journey. It really helps us out. Have a great week and hope to see you soon.